Hey guys, thank you for joining us on another video. Dave and Alex here, and today we're going to show you our gifts that we got for Christmas this year. Alright, once again, thank you for joining us. And before we get started, I just want to wish everybody, I hope everybody had a great Christmas out there. And Happy New Year. New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve is just right around the corner, and it's going to be 2022. I mean, that is just seems crazy, but uh, ready, ready or not, here it comes. Yeah, so I hope everybody got a, had a safe, happy Christmas out there. And this is a little bit of what we got for our Christmas gifts. Um, Alex got uh, a few Star Wars items, and then we got a few other miscellaneous items, too. So this isn't really going to be an unboxing video. We're just going to kind of show you uh, some items. And we might unbox one or two items. But we'll try to keep this video kind of short. Just kind of overview of some of the cool stuff we got for Christmas. Alex, do you want to go first? Yeah, so first up, uh, I got this uh, Deluxe Black Series Gaming Greats Cal Kestis right here. Um, he comes with um, a... BD1. I can't remember exactly what the name of that paint was that you can get for BD1 in the game, but I'm pretty sure it's called like Crimson or something like that. And then um, he comes with a green lightsaber, and he also comes with the uh, default blue lightsaber that you get in the game that uh, you get from Jarl to Paul, which is uh, it's broken on the end. And then he also comes with a hood that you can put on him because he's wearing one of the ponchos that you can get for him in the game as well and he comes with this holocron that um uh had it contained like the locations of the kids that were uh force sensitive and then the inquisitors were trying to get it and cal got it and spoilers at the end of the game uh i'm pretty sure cal destroys it so nobody could find it the location of the four sensitive kids. Yeah, really cool figure. I love that double bladed green lightsaber. It looks really cool. Yeah. Okay, so next up, we got this cool lighted uh, LED Death Star light, and it has our channel name inscribed into the bottom of it. Now with our lights, you can't really see it, so I'm going to turn down one of our lights here, and now that shows up a little bit better. Um, looks really cool. Um, and yeah, it's a really nice gift that we got. There you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, it looks really cool. You can see there it lights up our name and then there's the Death Star design. So nice little piece there. We'll probably include that in our videos off to the side. It looks like a hologram. Yeah. Like one of those little pucks that they have in Star Wars. It shows like the hologram. Like a bounty puck. Alright, next up we got this awesome archive uh obi-wan kenobi i'm pretty sure he's from the newest archive wave and uh as we already know the archive is uh a re-release of older figures but with like newer uh features like this is the revenge of the sith obi-wan from i think it was phase two with the blue boxes yeah, I believe so. And uh, they have now added the photo reel deco technology to his face, which I think looks way better to the original, if you have seen the original. And the hair, I think, also looks way better than the original. I think the hair's the same. It's just painted, maybe painted a little different. Yeah, the, the, it's, the sculpt is the same. The paint is definitely way better. And here we have the back, and it has the timeline on it right here. So yeah, really nice Obi-Wan Kenobi. I can't wait to unbox that. Alright, next up I got this uh, Star Wars droids uh, C-3PO from the uh, show, the original uh, television show. And it's like... Um, they got the Vintage Collection C-3PO. I can't remember what VC number he was exactly, but they got um, that one and just painted him like in the show. 
But yeah, it's like they're doing the same thing with this line as they're doing with the Vintage Collection, where with the Vintage Collection, they just take old figure, or they just take new figures, put it on an old card, and now with that, they're doing, they're doing, uh, new figure, new char newer characters and putting them on, like, cards like the older ones. And they're kind of doing the same thing with droids, uh, like they did with Vintage Collection, where they're just re-releasing those old figures, but with a new figure, you know, the same card back. 50th anniversary Lucasfilm, and it comes with the coin. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, because you hardly ever see this series out, out, you know, the vintage series like these, and if you do see them, they're always way up there, like seven, $800 if they're in good shape, you know, unopened. So, uh, really cool to have this on card. Um, this is definitely one we're probably going to keep on card. Yeah. And then, just to show you the back of the card, it has the Lucas 50th anniversary, or 50th anniversary timeline. Uh, was the droids highlighted there in 1983, which I thought it came out a couple years after Return of the Jedi, but it looks like it was the same year Return of the Jedi came out. So, And then it shows the others, uh, the other figures in the line. C-3PO, which is obviously the one we have here, R2-D2, and the hardest one to find, Boba Fett. Yeah, you'll never see Boba Fett, or if you do, you're really lucky. Cause, uh, or any of these, really. I mean, if you see these in Target... Because they're target exclusives, um, yeah, you're just you're just not gonna see them because those scalpers snatch them up as soon as they go on, out on shelf, or even most of the time before they hit the shelf. All right, next up we have this uh, vintage collection Mandalorian Incinerator Trooper, and it is the carbonized version. And uh, I actually think that um, it looks pretty nice. I think it actually it adds a little bit of an extra gloss to the figure, which um, stormtroopers are supposed to have glossy, uh, you know, glossy armor. I think it doesn't look too bad, considering that this is supposed to look like extra, like glossy and like carbonized or whatever. And it uh, has that reflective card back, which is always really cool, and the thicker card back. That the normal, um, the normal cards do not have because they do not have kind of like this, uh, uh, this foil kind of, uh, like look that these have. And here's the back. It doesn't have a number since it's part of the Carbonized series. And it has the other figures in the Carbonized, uh, like, case or wave. We have the Armor, Shore Trooper, and Moff Gideon there. Yeah, actually, this is a nice addition to our collection since the original release of this, the TVC release, uh, was which was a Walmart exclusive, never hit stores. Yeah. And uh, there was a lot of speculation that these fell off the cargo ship in a container and, and are at the bottom of the ocean somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. So because they never showed up at stores, they never went on sale online or anything, just very limited numbers. So um, um, it, it was a shame because that really cool trooper... So the only version you can find, reg this this one's pretty easy to find because it's uh, carbonized. And I don't think the carbonized vintage collection figures are really going over that well. I don't think, I mean, most Walmarts have them fully stocked on the pegs. Plus they're like $18, which is like way too much for this. But I mean, it is nice. I mean, the card is flashy. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that that finish that they put on them. But, um, but this is the only version of this figure we can get because the others are the other the regular tvc ones are just impossible to find <laughs> down in the ocean them, they're really expensive <laughs> and uh yeah um if you haven't seen already on our instagram uh we have a huge 3.75 inch imperial setup well uh, uh not really huge i guess it depends on what your definition of huge is compared to other people's setups but uh Go follow us on Instagram, and you'll you'll be able to see that um, Imperial setup that we have. And if you have seen it, then you will know that I cannot wait to add this Incinerator Trooper to that collection. Okay, next up we have Iron Man in the Infinity Saga uh, Marvel Legends figure, Iron Man Mark III, from the original Iron Man movie. So, there we go. This is really cool. Um, line in the um, Marvel Legends series M with the MCU characters. They went back and re-looked at uh, 
some of the characters and released new figures from them. And uh, this one is look, looks to be much improved over the original Mark III figure that they did years ago. So uh, really cool looking. I like the I like everything on this. Got a lot of little accessories there, extra uh, swappable head it looks like. And then you have the the open face mask with Tony Stark's face in there. So that looks really cool. Okay, then we got a, a NECA Marty McFly figure from the first Back to the Future movie. And uh, there he is. Uh, this one's been out for a while. And a really cool looking figure. I love the, the clothing. looks really realistic on this. comes with an extra head, a swappable head with sunglasses. Uh, the guitar, skateboard, a uh, couple of sets of hands. Uh, one of them has a guitar pick in the hands, a backpack, and the JVC video camera that he used uh, while, he, while he was filming the uh, DeLorean with uh, Doc Brown. So really cool. I mean, look at the guitar. It looks really cool. I think that's the guitar he uses when he plugs into that huge uh, speaker amp <laughs> thing and then like it blows up and no. uh, sends him across the room. <laughs> so that's from that scene. Um, so a really cool figure. And we already have uh, the the Doc Brown from the like 50s figure. We found that on clearance uh, back earlier this year. So um, that'll be a nice, uh, this'll be a nice figure to go with uh, Marty McFly. Um, so, uh, yeah, these NECA figures look really cool. And next up, we're going to take a look at, of course, you can see it in the corner of the screen, but it's huge and we can't fit it on camera, is the Slave 1. So we're going to readjust our setup here and put him front and center. All right, so we have the Slave 1 Vintage Collection, uh, the newest release of this with the new paint apps, which looks awesome. And I've never seen this out of the box before, and I didn't realize how massive this thing is. This thing is huge and just awesome ship with tons of details. And um, the box is really cool with the image, the Vintage Collection image in the background there. Um, just an awesome uh, ship, and I highly recommend it if, you were, if you're on the fence about this thing. Um, and of course, you know, as soon as Book of Boba Fett comes out, this this will you probably won't be able to find these anymore because it'll be so, um, you know, everybody be hyped about it and wanting this ship. So I would go on and grab one while you can because I'm sure they'll just be disappearing. But there's so many features to go over on this, but we're just going to kind of show you the overview. And it's so hard, I mean, it's so big, it's, it hardly fits on our table here. Um, Alex, what do you think? I think this, um, I think this is, I think it's like, uh, awesome. <laughs> I'm lost for words. It's, I think it's definitely one of the best, uh, vehicles that they've put out in the vintage collection. It's just so big. We definitely weren't expecting it to be this big, and that's not a bad thing at all. And as you can see here on the inside, there's actually an interior of it, which is insane. It's it's like <clears throat> there's pegs on the on there. You can put figures in there, and if you look in here, there's a like I don't know if it's like a cargo thing or anything, but you can put it down here. And then uh, this thing is in here. I don't know if it's like some cargo thing. Uh, it just came I with. I think it's it. like a escape pod, maybe. Maybe, but it like drops down from here. And you just put it up in there. Uh, up in there and also yeah the rear catwalk opens up but it's there's no opening to the actual cockpit which is kind of disappointing i wish this was open right here or you could open this door and then have that catwalk open and then have you know where you can place the uh the uh carbonite han solo which it also comes with uh yeah the front opens the up the front here. opens up and then that's where you actually store the the carbonite uh, Han Solo, which is kind of weird because he's supposed to be in the back back here. And also, um, he doesn't come on card. Uh, th he, there's just like a bag full of everything to put the ship together, uh, like the wings and stuff, and he just comes in that bag. He doesn't come on card or anything like that, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, you'd have trouble deciding if you want to take it off card. I'm going to flip it over real quick just to show you the back side of it. 
uh, all the the painting details on the back side with the engine port exhaust yeah. ports and and um, we have these things as well um, nice dirt wash over everything that makes it look really cool we have these things and um, the sonic we, imploders yeah we all know what these things do <laughs> well, I mean just amazing the detail the details and the paint apps and the weathering on it it was just really cool so there it is on the stand, uh, a nice looking stand display and it makes it a nice display piece and unfortunately we can't get it all in frame. Um, you put the wings up like this and I don't know if this is just with ours but the wings just don't want to stay in position when they're in the flight mode. Yeah they're not quite lined up perfectly. This one seems to droop down a little bit and this strut here look, seems like it's bent a little bit. Yeah, but other but, than that, um, uh, nice. Yeah, they should lock, I would think, but um, might have to do some fine tuning on that. Um, and there it is. As I'm rotating it, you can see the stand and slave one mounted on it. Wait, don't you mean Boba Fett's starship? <laughs> No, 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 no. It's a slave one. It's been slave one for 40 years, and in my book, it'll continue to be slave one. Exactly. There's only one problem. We have Boba Fett's slave one ship here, but where is a vintage collection Boba Fett? Well, we're lucky enough to have found a Boba Fett back earlier this year um, at Walmart. The uh, Return of the Jedi release of him to go. So we have a Boba Fett to go with our ship. Now, we did not see the original uh, re-release of him from on the Empire Strikes Back card. But we did find a uh, Return of the Jedi one. And the, this is the new, all-new Boba Fett vintage collection figure that was released earlier this year. So this is all-new mode and everything. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go on and open him up and put him in the Slave 1. Okay, what an awesome vintage collection figure. I mean, just look at the detailing on that. I mean, just amazing paint apps. Articulation is awesome. And just look at that on the back. He has a soft goods cape. That is just, that, that's amazing. The Black Series figure, the new deluxe Black Series figure, deluxe Black Series figure, does not have a soft goods cape, but yet the vintage collection one does. I mean, the vintage collection, the Hasbro vintage collection team for Star Wars has been knock, knocking it out of the park this year. The Black Series team, um, even though there's been a lot of awesome figures this year, not so much. I mean, uh, the cape should be soft goods on this figure, on regardless of the scale. So there's the, the backpack, uh, awesome figure, and a must-have to go with the Slave 1. So, um, quite honestly, with the, the price that they asked for these figures, this figure should be packed in the, with the, the ship, but it is not. It's separate sad so now we're going to check and make sure that he fits in the cockpit so alex is going to insert the figure or put Boba fit in the cockpit and of course you know as this slave one ship has the rotating uh cockpit as it goes from uh landing to uh flight mode you have to remove the uh jet pack from his back all right, so it took a lot of finagling, but we finally got the figure in there. And just to demonstrate the rotating cockpit, as he goes into flight mode, the uh, yeah the cockpit rotates up, and that gives uh, Boba Fett a clear view of his flight path. So pretty cool. And as he comes back down, it rotates around. Once again, thank you for joining us on this video. I hope you enjoyed our Christmas uh, uh, video of the gifts that we got. And uh, be sure to like this video and help our channel out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And thank you for watching all the way through. I know this was kind of a long video. Um, and also, make sure you have a happy new year uh, this coming weekend. It is 2022 already. Alex, take us out. May the Force be with you. And Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year.